plays. They shortened the game when they kept the coach offense off the field. Mr. Benson, their owner since 1985 in his 25th year, the one who hired Mickey Loomis and Sean Payton, signed Drew Brees. Brees was one that could have been playing here as his home stadium, but the Dolphins, you know what? They just cast too much doubt. They were too suspicious that his shoulder wasn't going to heal, and Brees didn't like the, atti the attitude and the vibe. He said, New Orleans wanted me. Yeah, that's right. They wanted him. Sean Payton said, come down here. I will let you help me design this offense. I'd say it worked out pretty well in four years. A franchise that was born eight months after the first Super Bowl game. They struggled for years. They have been the full embodiment of their community. A sign of hope. Through the Saints, they sought respect. And I tell you, Mardi Gras is about to break out here in Miami. Sometimes it's hard to make fair comparisons, but the Saints have really meant so much through the years, even through so many lean years to the folks of that great city, and especially here when you think what's happened in the last few years after the hurricane. You know, Jim, just look by Bourbon looking Street. at the look at Bourbon Street, but look at the crowd here in the stadium. Yep. How many Saints fans not only came to this game, just came in this city to, over the weekend. So the Saints touch off a celebration down on Bourbon, <laughs> Royal Street, Canal, Chapatulis, St. Charles, the French Quarter, Uptown, the Ninth Ward, on and on. They turn it around after a slow start. They are the Super Bowl champions. Presentation of the Lombardi Trophy is coming up. You've been watching Super Bowl 44 on CBS, and the party has already begun down in New Orleans. The Saints win it 31-17. Lombardi Trophy, let's join public address announcer Alan Roach. of his Super Bowl IV victory. Please welcome NFL Hall of Fame member Len Dawson and the Vince Lombardi Trophy. Thank you, Lynn Dawson. And Commissioner, it's time for the presentation of the Lombardi Trophy. Tonight, the two best teams in the NFL played another classic game. Congratulations to both teams. But tonight, the Super Bowl belongs to the city of New Orleans. They're great fans. And Tom, to you, to Sean, to your incredible team, the hope, courage, and inspiration you provided your community is inspiring. So thank you so much. Congratulations, your Super Bowl champs.
I know, Mr. Vincent, how can you possibly put this one in the words, what this night means to you in the city of New Orleans? Well, I tell you, and not only the city, but this whole state. And Louisiana, by the way, in New Orleans is back. And this shows the whole world. We back. We back. The whole world's back. <laughs> About to fall over here. <laughs> Be careful. I know there's nothing that delights you more than being able to turn that trophy over to your head coach, Sean Payton. Uh, I think I could kiss him. <laughs> Sean, you gotta tell us, your team was down 10 nothing after the first quarter, and then you had some of the gutsiest calls. My partner, Phil Sims, talked about it. We've ever seen by any head coach at a Super Bowl. That obviously was born out of a lot of faith in this team. How did you do it? Well, we, we talked about it at halftime, and it's really uh, it's a credit to every one of these players here. There's not enough room on this stage for all of them, but they carried out the plan, and uh, I'm just proud. I'm proud of this team, the coaching staff, and uh, everybody, everybody back in New Orleans gets a piece of this trophy. Here we go. And to think that four years ago, you came in, you brought this quarterback over from San Diego named Drew Brees. And I know you asked me, can I hand that trophy? It's time for you to pull off the handoff. I want, I want to hand this trophy to the MVP of the Super Bowl and the MVP of our league, Drew Brees. There you go. How did you guys pull off this comeback? We just believed in ourselves and we knew that we had an entire city and maybe even an entire country behind us. And what can I say? Uh, I've, I've tried to imagine what this moment would be like for uh, a long time, and it's even better than expected. But God is great, and we've got the best ownership family in the league, best head coach, best general manager, and, and the best team, and we proved that here tonight. And the MVP on top of it, you told us this week, this whole experience for you and your wife coming to New Orleans has been almost like a fantasy. It really has. How are you feeling about that tonight? Just feeling like it was all meant to be. It's all destiny. And um, what can I say? The birth of my son this year as well, the, in the first year of his life, we get a Super Bowl championship. Uh, he's been my inspiration as well. So just doesn't get any better than that. I know Mardi Gras doesn't officially really begin Mardi Gras nine days away, but this is going to be the longest Mardi Gras celebration in history coming up as soon as you guys get home. Congratulations, Drew. Thank you. Yeah, Mardi Gras may never end. The celebration's not going to end. There you go. The Vince Lombardi Trophy is in the hands of the New Orleans Saints. The Super Bowl champions will head back to the Superdome as the champions. And we'll continue with our coverage here on CBS in just a moment. Well, folks, that wraps up Super Bowl 44. It's been an outstanding year with my Great guys, year, a talented crew indeed. And folks, we thank you so very much for tuning in to CBS's coverage of Super Bowl 44. We hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget, coming up next, it'll be the debut of Undercover Balls right here on CBS. Folks, enjoy. The New Orleans Saints are world champions.